so close and I stopped him at 10 yards. We just pulled up to the little intersection that I like to park at um, whenever I come hunt here. Probably about two miles away from the stand. Um, so I'm gonna be able to shoot my bow, get dressed, spray down, do all that without having to worry about spooking these deer. I'm surrounded by beans. And as you can see, they're all still standing. So these deer hold and feed in these beans. There's a wheat field kind of back here to my east. So there's plenty of food for these deer, but I'm hunting probably the only patch of woods for a mile or two in the area. So these deer kind of, they kind of isolate up in these woods and, and whenever the rut kicks in, these bucks are in here chasing all these doe. Um, right now the rut's not full swing, but the bucks are definitely chasing and there's a good 15 or 20 doe that uses spot on a daily basis. So, you know, I'm hoping to catch them coming in here to feed as well as to uh, check out the doe. It's November 5th right now. So we still got a little bit before the Arkansas rut kicks in. I think one more good cold snap should really get us there. Um, I'm gonna drop my tailgate here, get set up, get all my gear together. I'm gonna to shoot my bow at probably 20, 30, and 40, and then uh, we're gonna make our way in there. So the gear that I'm using today um, I'm using this Nat Gear SC2. It's lightweight. It's a new performance gear. I mean, it's 65, 70 degrees out here. It's not hot by any means, but it's uh, after I walk in, it's enough to break a pretty good sweat. So I like to throw on this lightweight gear, um, and then with my harness, binoculars, all that on there, it uh, usually adds up to be a pretty good little pack. But the shot that I have at this stand won't be more than 40 yards. It could be anywhere from five yards to probably 40 to 45 yards uh, when these deer come in, they're, uh, they're pretty close. So I'm gonna just shoot some at 20, some at 30. I may shoot one or two at 40, and then uh, we gotta get in the stand. It's already, it's already 2.30, so we got about 30 minutes until I'm wanting to be completely set up. I like to be in there by about three, and then uh, have about an hour of peace and quiet, and then let these deer start coming in about four, 4.15. So I'm gonna pull the bow back a few times and uh, get dialed in. about a 300 yard walk maybe a little further it's about 245 gonna give me a, about 15 minutes to get set up and get in there by three like I said I'm solo filming today everything's by myself and uh, I'm hoping to get it done lugging in a bunch of gear got my camera I'm already up in the trees so Trying to make it as easy as I can. Had a pretty good hunt this morning. Saw uh, two pretty good bucks, probably four-year-olds will be shooters next year. 
um, a few doe, a spike, but just uh, not the, not the big one I'm after. I'm coming up on the food plot right now. I'm gonna get quiet, slip in here, and then uh, I'll check back in when I get up in the tree.
pass through. He was literally standing right here. So he was, he was standing about right here, and I shot him. There's my stand. So if he would have gotten over there, I wouldn't have been able to shoot him. I need it. It's covered. So he ran in. Those deer are still there. He ran in like 75 yards up here on the tree line. So I figured. Maybe one of us can pull the truck up, but I'm just gonna follow his blood trail all the way so I know the exact spot he went in. Because if we don't find it, then he, we're not gonna be able to get in there on him. All the blood's right here. Is it up on the trees? Do you see it? I saw it. Right. They're similar up here. Right here, see it's on the leaves. It's on that leaf. Right here. More? Yeah. Oh, you want to get this one? Up on this tree. Yeah. He's dead right here. Where is he he hopped. That's all alone. <laughs> These freaking big deer. You come to this side, Claire, if you want to. I'm going to see him better. Look how big he is. Come feel this right here. Feel how, how heavy he is. That is huge. <laughs> that is an absolute yeah, there we go. beast. We're up here on my wife's family farm up here in northeast arkansas and this buck has been on here for the last three or four years and claire passed this deer last year as an eight point he actually had a, a g3 right here so he was a big eight last year grew into a monster seven this year and since claire's been pregnant and just had a baby like a week ago um i've been up here hunting this deer pretty hard for the last two weeks and uh Tonight he came in, honestly, he didn't come in how I pictured he would. I figured he'd come in kind of straight in front of me, walk in, come straight into my stand, and then I'd get a broadside shot on him. Unfortunately, he came in 
eight steps from the bottom of my tree. It was almost too close. And uh, when he got in, he was 10 yards from coming under my tree into a brush patch that I wouldn't have been able to get a shot. So I went ahead and stopped him. Um, unfortunately, he was quartering too, but I knew he was so close that I could get a good shot on him uh, and his lungs. And uh, as you can see, I put a shot on the right side of his body, high on his lungs, and it came out on the bottom perfect. Wow, couldn't ask for a better better afternoon. Had a baby this past week. Scotty, she's in the car. She's about to come have her first of hopefully many deer experiences here at the farm. And uh, I couldn't ask for anything better than this beautiful buck. What a giant. Biggest body deer I've probably ever shot. What an afternoon. Beast. Woo! Big deer. There he is. The deer keeper himself. The deer keeper. There he is. Matthew Sweet Potatoes. Yep. That's, <laughs> right. That's the reason this deer looks like he does. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potato deer. Scotty's first deer. One week, one week birthday, and she's being thrown into the fire already. And her camo and everything. Camo and everything. One to go. Where to next? Thinking about a about a 165 over off the Cache River bottoms. What do you think? Top the year off. Go kill some ducks after that. Sounds good to me.